yeah, I think you guys know what today is. It's another package day, but we do have some really cool stuff, so let's get started. Now, I ordered three of these things, but I wanna start with this one right here because this is from one of you guys, and honestly, I've got no clue what's in here. And just by me shaking it, it feels really light. Like, this is about the size of a Funko Pop. Like, I think a Pop could fit inside of here. I'm not sure. Yeah, Pop could definitely fit inside of here, but it feels a lot lighter than that. So, let's chop into this and see what's in, chop into this. Do you say chop with scissors? No, you don't. That's more like big clippers or like a, like a machete. Huh, let's let's cut into this. All right, so now that we've chopped our way through the tape, let's see what's inside. There's a note. Hey, Top Hops, hope this helps with the mystery mini video, though technically not a mystery. Keep up the great work with the videos, Kevin. Well, Kevin, thank you so much. Now, let's check it out. Oh, okay, this is cool. Kevin, thank you so much for this. So this right here is not a mystery, like he had said. This is one of the ones from the Disney Treasures boxes, but this is the Toy Abu, and I believe this one came from the Aladdin box. Wait, was there an Aladdin box? I feel like there was. But anyways, thank you so much for sending this over because this is one that I'm definitely going to need for my collection. I actually have one of these open, but I don't have one of these sealed for this mystery mini video. And if you guys don't know what I'm doing for this mystery mini video, I'm trying to buy one of every single different set that they've made for mystery minis. And this is one of the ones that I needed. So Kevin, again, thank you so much for sending this over. Now, I normally save the big packages to last, but I thought, let's open this one up next. And before I actually show you the figure, this is something that I ordered from Target, but because Target doesn't ship to Canada, I had to ship it over to Grant, then he shipped it to me. It's really annoying to do stuff like this, but this is one that I really needed for the set, so I had to grab it. And this right here is the 10 inch, you guys ready for this? Here we go. Cubone. And this pop looks great. I am a huge fan of Cubone in general, so I really wanted to get the large one, the 10 inch one, especially because I have every single other 10 inch figure so far. I think the only one I'm missing now is Vulpix. I don't think they've made any other ones because this one was the last one I needed. So we have now Cubone, we've got Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Eevee, and Mewtwo. So I think, like I said, the last one I need is Vulpix. And also looking up top here, I don't have any more room for 10 inch characters. So we're gonna have to move one of the ones that I've already got up there there and we'll find a spot but yeah guys just overall this is a really well done character it's pretty much the exact same sculpt as the normal three inch one but blown up to a 10 inch size but on the back they do have more figures than i think they have on the normal cubone box because they have i believe this is wave two and three put together i think so but anyways guys there's my brand new 10 inch one the cubone and let me know if you guys picked up any of the 10 inch pokemon because they really are some nice figures all right, guys, now we're getting on to my one thing that is not Funko related today. It is another U2s, and you know what that means. It is U2s time! I know a lot of you guys hate that, but I'm still gonna do it. And I actually know which figure this is because it was the only one to come in today, and I'm pretty sure this is the one from Narcos. All right, guys, so all I can see so far is the side of the box. You guys can see it there. It has the, I guess, blaster shells on the side there, because I can't say the word. You know what I mean. Uh, but anyways, let's get into this one here, see what he looks like. I don't know which way is the front. Okay, here's the front right here. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Ooh, nice. So this figure right here is waiting from Narcos, and one thing that I'm kind of confused about this is I don't know if they're allowed to call the character in the show, or even the figure, Pablo Escobar, because I know that's what it's based off of, but I don't know if they're allowed to use his name. But anyways, guys, I got the one called Waiting, and you guys can see it's got his face up there from the exact scene in the show, as well as him sitting on that chair swing. Then you guys can see around the entire box, it has the shells going all the way around. All right, now let's slide this thing off and see what it looks like. Here we go. Ooh, this is a lot bigger than I thought. I mean, it kind of makes sense because they did have to make that entire chair swing to go around the outside of the character. So I was guessing it was gonna be a little bit bigger, but not this much bigger. And then if you guys are wondering what the text says, it says on the side, I'm always waiting. And then on the back side, it says when all two of your friends are busy. Yeah, it's pretty relatable. And this is technically a meme figure, but it was in the Narcos collection because they did have to get the license for this one. So there is one called Waiting, and then the other one is called, oh shoot. I know it's just him standing there because it was a scene where he was standing in an empty pool, but I don't remember what it was called. Aha! Uh -huh. So guys, I just checked the YouTube's website and it's called Sad. I didn't pick that one up because I didn't think that one was as cool as this one was, but the other one is called Sad. All right guys, now let's finally pop this one out of the box. First, it says, aha, uh -huh, size in Espanol. That's pretty funny. I do like that a lot. But now let's see what the actual figure looks like a little bit closer up. And here he is right here. So the swing is a little bit thin, so you gotta be careful with that one. I'm totally gonna be okay, I think. Like nothing's broken. I really do enjoy that. But there he is right there, guys. And it looks like the swing actually does kind of swing a little bit. 
that's kind of cool. Anyways, guys, this is just a really cool u 2 and I am a huge fan of it. And he also does swing a little bit. I wouldn't push it too hard because he's not actually supposed to swing, but because the vinyl or plastic is a little bit thinner, it does kind of wobble back and forth like a swing would. Well, guys, I know this one was a bit of a quicker u 2s time, but at least we got a really great figure. So now let's move on to my last package. All right, guys, so this last package here is coming in from Toy Tokyo for their 20th anniversary. So let's pop it open. So I can already see the figure a little bit just by cutting open one of the sides and it looks pretty cool. Now this one does come in a hard stack, which I thought was pretty cool. So let's pop this thing out of the box and see what it looks like. Here we go, guys, taking the paper off, taking the wrapping off, some really great shipping on this one. But let's see, here we go, guys. Ooh, this looks good. Now this is funny, it doesn't actually come in a Funko branded hard stack. It's a little bit different from that one because the normal hard stacks from Funko have an opening bottom as well as a top, but this one just opens on the top side. And if you guys can't tell what the figure is yet, this is the 20 year anniversary Toy Tokyo exclusive Biggie Smalls Funko Pop. And this one is him, but completely gold. Now this isn't like 24 karat gold or anything like that. I think it's just a gold chrome paint. But one thing that I did notice about this character is that the sculpt is a little bit different from the other one. Now guys, let me actually pop this thing out of the box so we can take a little bit of a closer look at it. I really hate that I have to touch this. Actually, before we do, let me show you it out of box so you guys can see the shininess a little bit closer up. You guys might be able to see the camera in the chrome, but there he is right there, guys, before I touch him. I did just wash my hands, so we should be fine, but here he is right here, guys. Oh, the gold chrome, notorious. B.I.G. Now guys, I put Biggie down for a second and I don't see any fingerprints on him as of yet, but let me grab the original one that is this sculpt so we can compare the two. There he is, there he is, there he is, all the way in the back, of course he is. All right guys, so I found the Biggie, now I've gotta put everything back. All right guys, so the main thing that I noticed from the Chrome one versus the original one is that this one here, the glasses are a little bit separate, like you can move them up and down, where this one, it's actually sculpted into his face, probably to make the Chrome a lot easier on this figure. But other than that, I think it's the exact same sculpt. Actually, one more thing that I noticed on the Chrome one is that the only thing that is painted on top or like a decal is his eyebrows. So on this one, Biggie's got golden eyebrows. Something kind of interesting, but let me put him back in the box before I get too many fingerprints on him. All right, guys, well, that is everything for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite thing that we got today? Because for me, it's a bit of a toss-up. I really did need this mystery mini for my mystery mini video coming up. I'm hoping soon. I don't know how long it's gonna take because I do have a list of them. We have, I believe this would make it now 49 different mystery mini sets, but we still need, I think, another like 50, maybe 60 different ones. So if you guys know any good websites that we can get older mystery minis from, let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops, Popsters. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. On a four with school. Maybe gonna school. She funny with it. Cool. B544 thump. I'm a hump. On a bump. Jack and Jill. Up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Lama lashes.